Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. We're back again with another podcast. A lot of y'all have been enjoying our podcast, so we're like trying our best to put out as much podcast as we can. We here today with Yahya and Arif, our usual guests. Today we're gonna to be talk. We're gonna be having like a casual podcast, I think. We got some topics, some spelling, and we're gonna talk a little bit about Ramadan. Because it is coming up <laughs> soon. We have some debatable topics also regarding Ramadan and stuff. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're on our way to like 1,300. So please, do the most, help us out. You know the vibes. Anyways, let's get into today's video. So are we going to start off first, Ramadan? I first want to say how fucking traumatized I am in this house, bro. <laughs> Why? Because of the spider story. Yo, I'm like, I have PTSD, man. You know, the more you stay by the house, you'll get used to it. But isn't it says spiders is good luck? Yeah, fuck, I don't want the good luck, bro. I don't <laughs> like spiders. But you know, if but you don't harm them, they won't harm you. And the reason why we have so many is because I've been looking after you. But it's fine if I harm them first, then they can't harm me. Yes. You want to kill them? Yes, bro, what you mean? But they never do nothing to you. But no. uh, yet. Just who claims to be Spider-Man is looking after them, bro. How are we gonna get rid of them? I feel like I need to tell the viewers a story of what happened. Tell us. For it to make sense. Because obviously I told you, you were dead at night. But you, yeah, you told me, but... Yeah. Tell us So, again. what happened was, I was with Arif outside. We went outside, this was like, what? About two, two three weeks ago. And we were standing outside, was he smoking? And then, yeah, by your wall. There's the, the drain pipe. So, I saw a small spider just as we went outside. I saw it run up the drain pipe. Yeah. So I was like, hey, there's a spider, there's a spider. I take out my place, trying to look at the spider, and the spider was gone. So anyways, I'm trying to look at the spider, look at the spider. So I'm like, okay, this thing is gone. There's no point. Then after that, we're busy outside. We're talking, we're smoking. Then, for some reason, I take out my torch again to look for the spider again. Yeah. <laughs> And then I like crouched down and then I seen like shadows of like thin legs. And I'm like, bro, there's like a spider here somewhere. I see a shadow. And then this guy says, no, it's like a mosquito or something. I so I see a mosquito with legs. So anyways, I think I put my phone again in my pocket for like maybe 10 seconds. Then I yeah. take out the phone again. And then I see the shadow again, like on the wall. Yeah. And then I look at my phone and I just see this massive thing on my phone. I'm like, what the fuck? I literally stepped back, I threw my phone. And then that's also so then he was like, yo, what the fuck? But wait, you put a fo- when you put your phone back in your pocket, you put it where the spider? I don't know, bro, I don't know. <laughs> but when, when I took out the phone, I remember seeing like a shadow and I, I, was, I don't know why I looked at my phone. Because maybe, like, I yeah, yeah. actually in the moment, I probably must have thought, Maybe this thing's on my phone, that's why the shadow's coming, because it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah, so then I turned and I saw this mess of ass thing with long legs. <laughs> I said, what the fuck, I threw my phone. After that, I went to go stand there by, that, uh, by the tile section. Yeah. And then I he also saw it and he pulled out his flash and he was like, yo, what the fuck was that? And I'm like, I don't know, get my phone. <laughs> and then that yeah, time... When, when I saw that thing on your phone, I was like, nah. And then that time the grass was long also, so then... Even so it ran in the grass. It must have. When you phone. <laughs> That's how cool is his phone, man. Yeah. We probably had maybe like 10 minutes. We're checking where is the spider, where is the spider. They are all facing me. Please, if I got my phone, man. Yeah. I'm checking there. The phone is face down, man. Yeah. So then, yeah. The, the, my the torch was face, on and the face was on. And the face is on, but you can't see the spider. Because my torch was on. Yeah, so now I'm checking. Hey, I hope the spider is not on the other side of the screen, bro. Hey, bro, I'm flopping it, flopping it, I don't wanna flop. I flop it, I cheer the spider, it's not a cheer in his home day, bro. The spider escapes on me in the grass. And after that, I could just feel things crawling on me, <laughs> on my neck, on You're my like, arms. You're like, I've been told us, oh, come check my top, because yeah, yeah, I feel things on me. It's such a big spider, man. Because when I saw pull out his phone and he was looking for a torch, and I'm just checking, what's this thing crawling on his phone, man? <laughs> I was like, yo. <laughs> like, you know, those ones with the legs, like, full. Yeah, 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 yeah. bro. Yo, let's wrap. But you know, we've been having a spiral problem. Yep. Like, I think I told you the story. So, child, you know, when we lock up and we have to lock up the key and stuff, yeah. man. 
So uh, after I pulled in the car and everything, I was closing the garage now. Yeah? And I see this big spider just walking in our driveway now. Yeah? And I'm checking, this is looking a bit too big to be a normal spider. Like it was a spider, like you know when you go to like Amazon Pets and you see the tarantula. But it was like a mini tarantula now. Yeah? I was like, Spark, what a fuck. I picked up the brick now. Yeah? And I could see the, the, you know, the back part of the spider. It was, right, it was big and hairy now. Yeah? It had like a red symbol on I said, nah, this thing can't stay alive. I took a brick and I threw it straight onto the, the ass of the spider. And like all green and everything just mm. went everywhere. I was like, ah. so Plus when I lifted up the brick, nah, to see how the thing is like smashed. And I lifted up the brick, you could see like the green was like even coming up with the brick. Like, like, it was like, like slime. Ah! Why don't you just trim the spider? Nah, what the fuck you mean? So, bro, you can't even trim a spider just on his phone. You want to go trim a bigger yeah, spider. Why do you make him jump on your leg? Nothing was worse, big bro. Bro, if I have a flamethrower, I light that shit on fire. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, that's the greatest stuff. I don't smack this thing, bro. That, I don't know. You remember that movie? It was a movie called Arachnophobia. Did you watch it? I I, th- I think I did. But the only thing is, one spider is infested. Those panels infested. Or I, I, I don't think I watched that one. I don't, I don't think I would have been able to watch it. <laughs> Maybe you must yeah, watch it. Must make us watch it. Yeah. yeah. And then you let the spider bite you. <laughs> what? And then you just put him in. <laughs> Never, ever. <laughs> put him in from me. <laughs> I don't smart this. Well, you know, after I watched that movie, then, for maybe the next hour, I just feel things cool. Yeah, bro. And you know that, that, that night I still slept you, I think. Yeah, I think I slept you. Yeah. Yeah, in, in the morning when I woke up, bro, I just felt things scrolling and I was like, <laughs> fuck me. And even, even we were watching TV and something came up about spiders. Oh yeah, the Mr. Beast video. Oh yeah. And the guy yeah, was yeah. in the first challenge and I just seen spiders. It's like, yo. But you know, we've been having a lot of like, what else we had insects? Like the praying mentors. I saw it, I think two weeks back. And now and it's back. It's just been blooming in our garden the whole time. Like whenever mm-hmm. you walk around, you just see this thing blooming, bro. You know what I don't understand? Eh? Every year... There's a new species of spiders, and it's always in our yard. Maybe they have like some spider lab here and they're slanging. Bro, we have everything. Yeah. Even all the frogs. <laughs> the first <laughs> yeah, the frogs. We have so many frogs. The frogs are because of the fields, the parks. I guess so. Isn't when it rains here, there's like lots of frogs that come on a road or something? King frogs, bro. Our whole area is like infested with frogs. <laughs> Isn't the one day? But I think I'm the one that started it, you know why? Few years back we went fishing there. Yeah? It was also like years back. That time we were still staying. I know we were staying. Yeah, I think it was like in our second, third year of staying here. Yeah? I remember we went fishing overnight. Yeah? There was a small frog. I took a bottle, like caught it. I threw water in a bottle so it could like just be alive. Yeah? I remember we brought it all the way back home, and I was like, "Fuck! Like, what am I going to do with a frog now?" And I went to go throw it in the field. And then a couple of months later, we found a fucking huge frog that was blooming here, yeah? like in the front also. So I host it, I made sure it run, like jumps away from the house. And then for a few years, nothing happened, there was no frogs. And then when the weather was getting about bad, it was starting to rain like a lot. Then we started checking frogs coming out of nowhere. So I have one bra who like deals with animals and shit like that. So I sent him a picture, I said, hey bro, like is this frog poisonous? Can you pick it up? What? He told me, this frog is harmless. I must pick it up, I must advertise it and I must sell it. By that time I was a bit scared to pick up a frog now. Yeah. Then the next day we yeah, saw the frog. frog are slimy, bro. It's weird. Yeah, but those frogs weren't slimy. But I think yeah, some frogs, frogs, if you touch them, I think you get poisoned, isn't it? Yeah, they are some. They like have spikes on yeah. them. Yeah. They even they like secrete the fluid. Yeah, it absorbs in your skin, some yeah. shit like that. The other day when we saw a frog, like, moving that side here, you know, this, before we went to this garage. Mm. So we saw one frog jumping there. So I still told my Tanya, I said, oh, this is the one frog that comes here the whole time of our house now. The next day, my daddy called me and said, hey, come see, here's this frog again, ne? Hi, Jackie, this frog is not the same size frog as the last one that I seen the other day, ne? Bro, I left up the garage, five frogs all blowing under the car. I'm like, where the fuck all those frogs came from? Bro, you know this outbuilding in the back? Yeah. We saw two of it running and going inside the room. I opened the door, maybe six or seven of them just jumping all over. Then I showed the bra for the animals. He told me, nah, this is mad, bro. He, he told me they probably they have like a nest, I don't know what you call it, but they have like the... Where they breed. Yeah, where they breed yeah. and stuff like that. Maybe that first frog went to go tune his bras 
Hey, that's all gave me water and everything. Come, yeah. that's why. Hey, why well, fuck it up all of us? Maybe that big frog that came was a small one, you must have. Grow. See, you must have came back and said, hey, this is the old that saved me. Let me come check how he's doing. Yeah. Let me bring all my no, family. No, all the homies. Maybe fuck. even that same frog, the, pump, the other frogs here, and then they start. Yo, but, so you mean to say I fucked it up for my whole area? But I'm saying you think one frog <laughs> could breed that much? Yeah. Or was it easy? Yeah. Was it in the same year? How many eggs? Bruh. Or to relay multiple eggs? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Game that makes eggs, sense. Bro. Maybe so it's it. possible then. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine all the neighbors watching us feel like it was a bastard. The Are they gonna <laughs> hate me, bruh? <laughs> You're gonna fucking yeah. eat me. But isn't you said the ones here was like the whole road was full of frogs? Yeah, bro. That's me, bro. Only our road. Only our road. So this so this frog called his whole lineage. Hey. Everyone. Come here. Those frogs know you can help us all, bro. Come and take it to my city. There's so many frogs, man. Sometimes when I buy jogging, it, man. Bro, I see frogs dead even on the road. Cars drive away. Gang frogs, bro. You can't even count the bits on me there. Yeah, so imagine on your tires, it's probably like... Mm. Like frog blood or slime, I don't know what they have inside it. Oh, sh- I'm saying like if you pull out your car and there's a bunch of frogs on the road and you drive, you're squishing all the frogs. Yeah. It's so it'll be a mess all over your tires. Because I remember when I was jogging, man, so I stopped to see like, you know, what happened to the frog. So I just saw that his face was on one side, his ass was on the other side. And in between, it was just like, you know, you could flat, see the flat, tires. Flat, yeah. Ish. It's it was like all green and red and... But you know, if I see another frog here, like I won't be scared to pick it up or anything because... You know the first time when I, when I was seeing the frogs, I never used to pick it up or touch mm. it, ne? Then I remember one frog just stopped here by the grass and I touched its ass like fast, like, and it fucking started jumping fast, ne? But I also got scared because I like jump back. You know that day when we saw that other frog? Yeah. And I was like petting it on its head, it was blowing and yeah. fucking looking at you and getting your orgasm. So. Yeah. And I feel like I can now pick up a frog, bruh. But it was a bullfrog, isn't it? But all the frogs that we get look the same like that, though. We should have actually Google imaged it to see like it what is, type of... It's a bullfrog, it's an African bullfrog. That's what it's called. <laughs> it was so funny because when you touch it, it was like getting stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> it was ready to fight. It was me reaction. <laughs> <laughs> then they it's like, so you know, like, you know, like how bulls, when you see red, when you see red, then you start, you know, moving. Yeah, yeah, so maybe so that's... Maybe but that's you know, the whole time I was rubbing it, like, I wasn't rubbing on his head, like, just below the head, man. Yeah. But as soon as I touched in between his <laughs> eyes, you know, he fucked off, bruh. Then yeah. I got scared, I was like, yeah, he does so. At least we got some pets, you know. You know, it's making it worse about the spiders, like, now I'm just seeing it everywhere, bruh. Because you're thinking about it. Nee, it never used to be like the way it is yeah, now. Yeah, I know they say, yeah. It's a psychological thing, yeah. The more you think about something, the more you find it in your vision, wherever you are, wherever you go. I don't know, because like, today when I left it up the garage, I just saw something move. I'm like, fuck, there's a spider again. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, everything that's similar to a spider, you think it's a spider. For as long as you think yeah, about I, I think I'm suffering from PTSD. <laughs> but it's right when you do think about like stuff, you, do, you always come across it. Like I think about avoiding fat bitches and I always can't. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to all my fat bitches. <laughs> I knew you talking shit. Yeah, that's what you're so obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get to our topic now. Ramadan. So Ramadan is getting a bit close. It's now around the corner. And now, uh, I actually came across a post on Instagram of one of our local ones talking about like things that don't make your fast look cool, yeah? So he was saying uh, like for the ones that smoke and all this nicotine stuff. So he said there's this nicotine patches. Patches, yeah. yeah. So he says when you put it on your skin, it's like for ones that struggle to, for the cravings. So you use that patches, but he said that it doesn't make, doesn't break the fast. But then you're always saying, I would it say, does. yeah, because like it's good in your bloodstream. Who's gonna say only when you like take in through the mouth, then it breaks? <laughs> That's what she said. Oh uh, my God, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know, because like it's good in your blood. That's the main thing. Because like for example, an IV drop, like you don't take it in your mouth, but it still breaks your fast. I feel like if you're cutting any addiction, you have to do it naturally. Yeah. 
don't feel the chemicals. Can yeah, but it's not them quoting. Because you must remember, if you look at it from like a philosophical or religious point of view, yeah. the whole point of, of fasting is to abstain from your desires. And if you are addicted to nicotine as one of your desires, and if you can't do that, technically, like, you're kind of breaking it. I mean, if you see it like that, yeah. Because it's like suppressing the fast. Itself. Yeah. Because you're supposed to withdraw yourself from all these pleasures for the sake of Allah. And then... You just put in a nicotine patch of, on you and you get nicotine. You satisfy the cravings, exactly. yeah. Okay, that does it. Like, for example, we all get thirsty, but you don't say, oh no, we might have a heat stroke. Let me just take a sip of water. <laughs> but don't you think it also is like that if you're putting water on your body to cool your body down? The water doesn't absorb into you. <laughs> but you, see what I'm saying? Like, see here, eh? Okay, but nicotine patches are absorbed through your skin. And the thing is, like, water is essential to life. Nicotine is not, even though it's a secret to life. <laughs> yeah, so you had to put it out there. I don't want to know what is this all talking about. The three secrets to life. One of them is nicotine. You can guess the rest. <laughs> Titties. No. Oh, damn it. Isn't the secret to life? <laughs> what? What did you say? Oh, what? I said protein. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you know. Yeah, I know the secrets, man. Are you ready to fast? Am I ready? Yeah. Like, fast? Bro, I feel like I'm so ready. I don't know about you all, but at whatever point Ramadan comes, like, whatever course during the year, like, say when it's to come end of the year or middle of the year, I feel like it always comes at the right time that we need it to come. I understand what you're mm-hmm. saying. Say you get up to shit or you going off track or something like that. Like, you know, Ramadan is always here to, like, try and get you back. Ah, guys, right, so many new ones yet. Do cock in Ramadan. No, that's, that's just proper fucked up. But I mean, like, for yeah, us, Ramadan's at us. You know, man. But there's more Ramadan than you can imagine that are still in the element. <laughs> but the Ramadan's are putting nicotine batches. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> but uh, I just feel like I am a lady. I feel like I'm excited for Ramadan, but... Yeah, this was something like a pie. Yeah. I'm yeah. so biased, yeah. I'm gonna change me. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm not looking forward to the hour here. I don't know. You say time, bro. Maybe because, like, the people here read like shit. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I'm being honest, it's boring, bro. <laughs> you have to say it like that. Yeah. They read, it's boring. Like, hey, you, mom's yeah. watching videos. Like, you're staying in there and you're like, yes. yo, my legs So, are you, sore. basically, what you're saying is you like. To listen to all, to hear it, like... Yeah, like, 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 if, if they read yeah, nice, yeah. I, I wouldn't mind it at all. But, like, <laughs> now I'm a stand there, it's like, ugh. But you can choose where you want to go read, you don't have to. Yeah, that's, that's why I told you, like, yeah. I was thinking of, like, go. But the thing is, like, in lanes, you have to travel. So you see all the ones in lanes read, like, shit. Sure. I don't know anyone who reads nice. <laughs> <laughs> Cause he <laughs> you got Yo, my man say shots to the whole of them. Yes. Because if I knew I'd go there, then. unless I don't know, maybe there's a there's a mosque that there's Owen that read nice. But like for the, for all twenty rakats, not just four rakats. Because I'm not gonna go there for four rakats and six, the other sixteen. I'm like, hey, when's this over? So you wanna go to someone who's reading all twenty? No, like oh, maybe there's like, three oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. reading. The, the, the and, actually you are now. But I don't know where you're reading. I also heard it. Was, but I when know. I was doing this, he was uh, one of the ustads, they probably read hell of a map. Like you can listen to it all forever, bro. Yeah. I know a few ones, like when I was doing this, also like. <laughs> what the man? I just know. Talking about yeah. the Dawi. You know, I think it was only from maybe three years back. I actually started reading, well not three years, like maybe say, we're in what, 2024 now, yeah? Maybe like from the year just before COVID was like, when I started reading all what the Rawi brought. But did you go for a way to one part of night? Yeah, like I used to read what the masjid. Oh, so but you, no, but I mean like... Yeah, the masjid, the masjid reads, I think for the first five nights, one and a half or something. One and a half. Yeah, just, just in case he's yeah, in yeah, the yeah, earlier. Yeah. Then there's other ones that slant the, the three paras a night. Then there's some ones that slant 13 one night. I don't know how they managed it. 
Jo, ja, das ist echt praktisch. Ja, ja. ja. ist in der Saal, oder? Ist in der Saal, man. Das ist rauf, bro. Das ist die Paras so online. Und ich finish, like, they finish just before Serie, bro. Like, 4am yeah. or something. Weißt du noch, I think it's like that in der Saal, I think it's like that in der Saal, bro. Ich denke, dass die Leute nicht TV sind, also so, da wollen sie meist die Wives. Was? So, dass sie auch Reibel klar all in one night. Aber das TV sind die Wives, wenn du dich selber warst. Du sagst, die Leute nicht TV sind, die meist die Wives. Wenn du dich selber warst, was willst du denn? So, warum sind die meist die Wives? Bist du verstanden? Du sagst, Lassen, du sagst, es gibt keine TV, so die meist die Wives. The wife and the husband at home, because they want to do it. Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, that's part of it. But like, I feel like, who watches TV these days though? Isn't it probably certain on TikTok? No, I mean, that's... What I... It's also true, bro. I don't know when last time I watched TV, bro. Like, actual TV TV. I was watching TV today, but I was watching YouTube, though. No, I mean... I connect with... Yeah, but it's not... Like, I mean, like, actual TV, like, a movie or a movie like this. Don't you think in today's time, right? Watching on your phone is the same as watching TV because the same shit you used to watch on TV you can watch it on your phone. Yeah, I, I, and everyone prefers to watch it on your phone because it's more convenient. Yeah. So basically, you're still watching TV. I feel like TV has like evolved in a sense because like now it's now oh, mobile. Yeah, because like now every TV has Netflix on it. Yeah. yeah so like you can say I watch TV, but to watch Netflix now, I I think when we're talking about TV, we're talking about like. SABC, SABC. Is, like how we grew SABC up. SABC too was my life, bro. Yeah. <laughs> but I feel like TV is... Every before. day, five o'clock, I'm there for one hour. I used to even fucking watch EC Dingo, bro. You remember it, EC Dingo? I remember. When I used to watch EC Dingo? I remember you used to watch, bro. Yeah, because you watch it. Don't say I watch it, my man. You used to watch EC Dingo. You used to watch Generations. Seven the Lion. I don't know These are our lives. You used to watch all the OG shit, my man. I used to watch one on this yeah, episode. Oh, like, yeah. I only know the green time you used to watch. But I can't remember what it was called. What? I used to watch? I used to watch a, like a soapy. Do you recall them soapies or what? Yeah, Seal in the Land. No, not that I one. Mean, I used to watch Seal in the Land to get my Africans better. Everyone used to tell me what Seal in the Land. I used to I watch it. it. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. What they were saying. I stopped watching Back it. Now when I started watching my Africans went worse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come and tell you, me. I started watching that shit, man, for the same reason to improve my Africans. Bra, from grade 8 till grade 11, I failed Africans only passed in Madrid, bra. They think they you know, fitted my life in a way. Was it good though? Like seven to nine? Bra, I better like just still going until today, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think that show must be like, I feel like it was worth the best one going show or something. Because think, like, think of it, right? If you are old, that smacks adrenaline after what is. You don't want to sit and enjoy Sea of Wonderland now. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, it's like a drama. I, I don't know what it's about, but... You know, I, I mean, the class, like it's about... We, oh, yeah. They came to the school and I was working there. What school? Dude. Park. Oh. For like the kids. To do what? They came, the yeah, kids are doing a, a Save in the Land play. Oh. So they came also. Oh, that's cool. Watch, yeah. So all the players in Africans. Yeah. They, so like, they were they doing a play for Africans. They were like acting out scenes from Save in the Land. Yeah. But the cast must be gone old now, huh? Yeah. yeah but it's there's probably new yeah, people yeah, that they died killed them off in the show. Because I remember when I was watching it, there was... Gang mouths on that show, bro. I only remember that one old Tani and Timer that were there to every single season, every episode. I was small, I don't know. I just remember seeing old people speak Afrikaans, that's all I remember. Did they used to speak like proper Afrikaans or like that street Afrikaans? Yeah, proper Afrikaans. Proper. Yeah. There, there was like, you know, some Some Combeis Afrikaans. Yeah, yeah. Combeis Afrikaans. Combeis. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, Terawi. Terawi. Terawi to seven to one. Now you see, when you read behind an imam that's boring, you think of things like this in Terawi. Now is that right? You see, you can argue that point also because in the first place... How many years now are you reading all the Terawi? Just cut me off. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, a few years. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, but tell me when you used to dot Rawi, ne? Who said I used to dot? Used to dot Rawi. Why, why are you assuming? Because I asked you for how long are you reading all your Rawi, you said few years. Yeah, so? You didn't say for all your life. So, yeah, but it doesn't mean I was dopping. Maybe I was in hospital for a month. You were never in hospital for a month. My I mean, what you used to like get up to like... Like when you were all like this, you used to talk that you either You either blom outside the masjid or you blom inside. Oh no, now and then I used to go for coffee and things. Yes, yes. Well, I always used to go on coffee dates during Tarawi. No, not dates. Oh, no, 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 not dates. It date. could have been a date if you pull out the kajul. Fuck, that's a joke. You know what's funny? Nee, but we can't even charge, bro, because once we try to buy donuts, bro, and all the ones are just charging donuts, bro. It's like... Yo, I used to... But now think about it. <laughs> This goes back to my point. If it was an imam that read amazing, would you want to go there to get those donuts? This is why it's so important to have an imam that reads but nice. But it's not only that, it's the bras that you want. Nee, like, if bro, if Yusuf Osman is reading here and my bras say, hey, let's go anyway. I'm like, nee, bro, I don't listen to you. <laughs> I'm not going anywhere. Nee, I think what he's trying to say is, if your bra faces you, hey, come, for let's example, right? Outside. Let's say, for example, oh, says, Let's find Slanga guy outside or something. Then you end up messing out the Rawi talking stories with all the ones. But Yusuf Osman is really <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but even in the same scenario, ne, you'll be like, alright, let's just go Slan one guy, then we'll come back in to listen to the show. Then you get carried away outside. Yeah, I guess so. Especially if it's like, your clothes. You know, we used to host soccer tournaments. Outside? Yeah. <laughs> During the Rawi. It was game times, bro. Yo. And he was like, Bro, like the whole masjid used to be outside, like half the masjid, bro. It was so weird. But it, you know, it was like, like that even you were by the masjid, you were, bro. No, I don't know. Since we came by the side, I've been by the side. Before we moved here, the ones used to like, play play. Yeah, I used to hear the stories also. Once I even got into a fight <laughs> during the Rawi, you know that? Inside the masjid? Yeah. In the classroom, yeah. <laughs> classroom? <laughs> no, no, that's the most mean day when Jabra was an extension. Oh, no, I like this used to roll in. Bro, every night he was a fake way when he. <laughs> but I always used to be so excited for Tarawi just to Good see fights fight. when you all. It was my turn, my night. The upcoming champion of La Nasia, my man. <laughs> hey, they put me there. You fought? <laughs> yeah, I fought this one. But it was funny because that's how he hit my bra first. No? <laughs> he was rolling with my bra, he moved my bra, my bra was crying. Plus, he told me he's crying like tears. I said, Sorry, but I don't worry, I'm gonna eat the whole for you. <laughs> the next day, some other two ones were rolling there. So they had to roll everyone fast. So they asked who wants to fight. I said, I wanna eat that, bra, eat my bra. We were small like this. That's why he came to me, he said, Come, come to the classroom, we fight. Ne? Hey, plus, he has a light brother, small light brother. Ne? Brother, so he's still taking off his top, he caught I run, I dish this man. Ne? Hey, he's pulling off his kurta. I hold the kurta. He's trying to pull it off. I'm teaching the man through his kurta. Ne? Then I see him blood. I check. Hey, fuck. He no. doesn't bleed. His nose in it was bleeding. Eh? Brother, like, he's lighting. Brother, starts crying. He's coming. He's punching me. Eh? But he's punching me soft. Eh? But I was getting irritated. I look at him. I say, hey, you're lighting. I smack him. Eh? But his lighting was so fucked and dramatic. When I smacked him, he like flew down. Eh? Brother, now the classroom was like a square class. Eh? But like small. Just like he started rolling to every corner of the class when I smacked him, bruh. And all of us just stopped to look at us like he rolled around the corners yeah. of the class. Then he gets up and he just looks at us. And you just see the tears start rolling. Then my one round went to Gumuri. Yo. But you must have been like in primary school. Yeah, it was yeah, long ago, I, I think it was maybe like two years back, man. You know that masjid that's opposite upper crust, I think. Yeah, upper crust. Yeah, yeah, but the four way. Bruh, so anyway, there were these light is rolling, I saw a video of us, ne? But it doesn't, bruh, two years so back. So light is, ne? Maybe in grade, what did it look like? They were grade four, five? Ne, there was a old, uh, fight scene. I don't know, maybe, maybe like 30 of these yeah. light is, ne? I was so proud of these light is, bruh. Because, <laughs> <laughs> bruh, it was for the first time after many years that they saw you light is actually rolling, ne? Yeah. Bruh. Prior is like this, they were starting a fighting tournament. I don't know in which arcade, yeah. Prior, you must hear how this, these lighties were ready to fight, yeah. Like the ones were like, 
who's next, who's next, I'm next, this next, and they fucking each other up, brother, like you were bleeding in it, nose were bleeding, mouth were bleeding, I was like, yo, brother, slide is the next level. Bro. Was this during the rally? Yeah. Mm. yeah. But they were gang, like, in private, must see how they were moving each other, bro. They were literally fucking each other up. Outside? I don't know, it was, the stairs was going down. Oh, inside. You know where it's upper crust? Yeah, I know. I know what Majid is talking about. Yeah, now you know that where for the cars to park underground, they go downwards. There's an underground parking? Yeah. How? Yeah. Oh, they kept with the bars. Oh, I didn't yeah. know there was an underground parking. It's an underground parking. <laughs> so they, the garage was closed. The shuttle was closed, so you couldn't go fully underground. So that's just still a ramp piece downwards. So everyone was blowing the end in the fight was happening. Plus you must see why the lighters are rolling in a group of lighters are chilling the one lighty on another group is chilling the other lighty on. I was like, yo. Oh. But that means the underground is built solid, huh? <laughs> because they have apartments there and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yo, that's crazy. They probably have gang support structure. Yeah, they are. Probably a white guy built it. Yes. <laughs> 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 uh, My man is not wasting time tonight. He's attacking the ones. But you know, um. Yeah, but pride. The true reality is it. What the nations? They they fuck you. Yeah. I never say anything about nations. I'm just saying. Yeah, about you, <laughs> you went to be specific now about it, bro. Yeah, like it's it's the truth, bro. Like see for example, right? I can't get in shit for us because it's already out there. Before Eskom was handed over to whoever's running it now, Prada were one of the best companies on the African continent that were managing electricity. Now check what happened, bro. Yeah. Our f- schedule is changing last minute, bro, every second day. It shouldn't even have load shedding in Ramadan also. Mm. It's gonna be cock. But you know when you're talking about the fighting thing, like you're proud of like this fighting properly now, I actually thought about it. I feel like the reason why like everyone's so scared to fight now is because if I fight and I fuck someone up, I must be prepared to go to court. Yeah, you see yeah. that's that's what you see, f- fucked it all up. Like you see even in hours of light in there when we used to roll eh? you get fucked up, you get fucked up, that's your own story you must go home, eh? Yeah. Now in today's time bra almost bra even eh? are out in eh? well, get like his fucking uncle and his aunties. Yeah, and, yeah. Fuck, and you know what's the worst thing is? They'll always have spit, ne? And they'll be like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. When they get old, then you want to bring a brother to come roll. Or you want to bring, like, an elderly person to come roll. Like, you get fucked. Like, I mean... It's like, why can't you just accept, okay, that guy got the best now, of yeah. me. I need to and learn how to fight now. Yeah, because like, think of it, ne? The only way any Audi can become a better fighter, he needs to get fucked up. Yeah. Because there's no way you can just be winning all your fights and then... By... Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and the thing is even uh, like what I'm saying, I was proud of those like it. Because in today's time, bruh, if you even push a light, if you fall down and start crying, you'll go around to his smile or you go do something. Because all the light is of today are pop, man. Because they sat at home fucking yeah. play Fortnite all day. That's when else did you see light is in a street playing ball or something? I see, but like it's it, rare. It's very rare, bro. But it's I feel rare. like I feel like is is adults are waking up. They like encouraging more and more light is to start playing outside again. No, now they. I see it in a few areas where light is playing ball in the streets. Light is riding bicycle or stuff. Now they're putting the light is in pedal, which is even more gay. <laughs> <laughs> but I say this all the time. Pedal is a sport. For people that have never played sports before, bro. That, that's, you, that's my line. Well, I'm telling you, bro. That's my line, bro. It's so true, but... Yeah, but it's but for people that don't fucking play sports. Because yeah, it's easy to Yeah. yeah. I, I can agree it's for all ones that don't play sports. But I does agree that it's for all ones that never played sports before. Because, bro, I know gang all ones that used to play ball in it and do other shit. They smart pedal, bro. So, I don't know. I would kick the fuck out of 98%, no, 99.8% of battle players. They're either overweight and unfit as hell, or there's some fucking geek. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, that's an even more gay sport. You'd rather go play ball. I'd rather spend 
even 20 minutes how much on a soccer field there's one thing? hour playing pedal but but Easy. like how much do you, Easy, you how much do you have to pay to it's pay 100 pedal? bucks uh, it, if you play four though? people it's 400 in a court for an hour then obviously if you play four people then it's 100 bucks a person Keeper, okay. yeah but I'm, nee. Sometimes it's a whole month if you have to ball. rent a bed or something. Also. Yeah, then you have to rent a bed for 50 bucks if you don't And if none of the owners have tennis balls, you have to buy the tennis balls there also. And if you don't want to hire one and buy one, you have to spend like nearly one and a half grand on a plastic bed. So imagine if you find to play pedal four times a month, right? It's four club, bro. Yeah. You yeah. could be using that money to invest in other shit, bro. No, but like even if you want to play sports, like... Like, yeah, like ball, 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 right? And things. <laughs> But I think well, like, say I prefer ball and there is that you do more running, you do more athletic work in ball competition. Yeah, like you actually get fit. Yeah. I feel like I feel like what sports, man, I feel like sports is defined by physical contact. I feel like sports without physical contact isn't actually sports, but that's why I say battle is gay. Because like, you're holding the plastic you bath. Ball, for example, you're gonna get slight tackle, you're gonna get body weighted. When yeah. your legs up. Pedal is so gay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. And the thing is like, I don't know why, but everyone's just so addicted to it. Because yeah. people because they don't play other sports. Other sports. sports. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. It, That's it, man. it all comes back to that situation where everyone smacks comfort. Like it's very rarely that the ones are going to go into areas where they know that shit's gonna eat your yeah. for them. Pedal's not even like a risky sport, you know that? Yeah, it's not. Because the only way you can get injured is by being like unfit and not stretching. <laughs> because like in yeah, ball, you can get injured even if you play playing amazing, someone can tackle you. Yeah. If you put your leg in for the ball, there's a chance you can get a bruise or mess your ankle or mess your knee. But like... And like even like in tennis, tennis is fucking hard. Like you need to tennis be Tennis is way more difficult. You need bro. to be fit. Yeah. Do you ever watch tennis? Huh? Yeah, I watch sometimes. I only watch the chicks play tennis. But like even I play tennis like a few times, but the pro thing is hard. It's way difficult. Like, like that's respect to people who can play tennis properly. Like pedal. <laughs> Fucking gay, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Homosexual. Homosexual. <laughs> so where did we? Actually, I just like I was looking through my notes and remember the day we got followed? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to tell a story of that. Yeah. How we got followed? Was you with us? Yeah, it was us three. Oh, I went home oh, to Fessa. Oh, your house. Yeah, I went yeah. home to Fessa. What time was it? Like one o'clock? No, 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 it was like half eleven, twelve. I think half eleven, twelve it was, yeah. No, man, didn't we come back from somewhere? We find out. We went to... What, Mo and And we came home and I needed something. Yeah, we went to Greenside and we came there. Oh, you did to go feed the dog in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it was. It was one o'clock. For yeah, because yeah, yeah, we came yeah, over late today, yeah. You. It was like at one. It was late. But tell us the story again. It's an exciting story, bro. <laughs> Not was, in the moment. It was funny, though. It again, it was funny. Yeah, it was funny once you were safe. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I was driving. You were in a passenger seat. He was behind. Arif was in the backseat. Back seat, and yeah. then I was driving. Now, obviously, because it was so late, the roads were empty, empty. So, anyways, I was driving, and we had the music on, and I think we were talking. And then I saw this car behind me, but we were on the main road, and the car, like, it looked like it was gonna it overtake was gonna me. Overtake. So he yeah. came like close, like he was. You could see, like he was increasing his speed. And then like I carried on driving slow, like the road's empty, I'm in no mm. rush, like overtake me. Then a man comes on my ass and he hits brakes. Then I'm like, weird. Yeah. But yeah. anyway, he's still driving, I'm like, okay. And then I put on the indicator to turn into my area. Yeah. And then he also put his indicator. Yeah, so and I, you were gonna turn so, yeah, so I, yeah, so yeah. I I think I said, what the fuck? Why is the indicator on at the same time? Because yeah. like he, he never had it on and then I put my indicator on and like yeah. maybe two seconds later his one went on so then I told you and it was like maybe like 200 meters from the turn yeah and then you told me make it on driving, carry on get on driving, driving. Yeah. so I was like in the split second I was like yeah let me carry on driving 
And then I had my indicator on, but I went straight yeah. past the turn. And fucking and man also one. followed yeah. us. Then I'm like, nah, what the fuck? And anyways, I put my indicator off and I think I floored it. Yeah. And then he went left. And he probably... You know it was yeah. dingy, huh? Did the old exit did on to the highway? Yeah, that's what I'm so saying. Over, huh? So like, yeah, we, yeah, he yeah. went left. We went left, he went and right. And then he just went right onto yeah. the highway. And I was like, yo... But you know, I always used to realize things about like when you being chased or whatever. You, you must... must Always do like the fucked up stuff. So like put on the indicators, but don't go that way. Yeah. Fire the other way or something like that. And then when you see someone does the exact same thing, like you then you know you're being followed. Yeah, then you know you're being followed. tell you one night, I was just club clubbing with my brothers, right? So I was catching a love though with my other brambo, right? So I was like, here's the last time I car, right? So it was cackling. So anyway, we're driving. So this X5 pulls up behind us, right, out of nowhere, and it turned the windows, everything. Right. But now as we're driving, now my brass guy is boosted, right? So as he's pressing, the X5 is pressing behind us, right? So I waste my brand here, yeah, don't turn there by my street, carry on flying straight, because I think that's the ones that are following us. If we check him as the first turn, the ones are still following us. So pass the second turn, third turn, hey, my brass, when we open the car there, there's a gun there. I opened a yeah. gun, so he took his gun, he opened a window, and as soon as he pulled the gun out of the window, that X5 hit breaks, same time, bro, and left us after that, bro. Lucky, imagine they pulled out also and started Yeah, he started shooting against you. That's, that's, that's a 50-50. Yeah, but I feel like my bro would have outrun it. No, but I'm saying like the is No, but what he's saying is... As soon as they saw the gun, they gun, like, pulled out. Once you them, you were in front of them, they were behind us. So what my brother did was, he just pulled out the gun like sideways out of the window. Yeah. And they hit their brakes. Yeah, but the thing is like, you wouldn't be able to land any shots. Yeah. Because you like, know, the, uh, you would have to stick your body out and yeah, turn around. Yeah. The reason why I pulled out the gun was to show them that we care. Yeah, and you'll know that they probably follow you all and things. You're strapping. But you know what, lucky you told me go straight because I would have probably turned. You were about to turn. Yeah. I, that's why I was saying. Why straight, why straight, then I seen you quickly Because the whole car we were checking, we were turning yeah. And you brought it back It was like literally know? split second, like okay, let me just go Because the, the only thing you could have did if you had to take that turn was Carry on straight home, there's ones who are going to follow us back to your place bro. Yeah, And you know what would have been You know what would have been flipped up, man Is if you did turn into your area There's gang speed bumps there, bro Yeah, it was so much down Yeah But I feel like If they turned with us and I turned out, it was probably like Start going through the roads and like seeing if they actually follow yeah. it. And as soon as they were like, probably you obviously would have noticed they follow it. Yeah. Then I would have like, go around that thing and then come out. And not go home, obviously. So the thing is, what if you had to do this while me and Nesto wasn't with you? And you never even, like, you wouldn't have to take note and you just buy it yeah. away. No, the thing is, I, I, I would have been fishy because like I said, he literally came on my ass. Yeah, and then you And then that, that's when I told you, like, yeah. hey, that's all, like, a bit sus. What do you do if you were driving alone? Like what or I told him? In the same area. What, what? I would put an indicator, hit a wrong move. I would do like all fucked up stuff. No, I'm saying what if you did take a turn yeah. into that area? I would go to the inside road. But it means I have to know the roads. Yeah. Because I know one of the roads there is a car is isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Obviously right. I wouldn't go in. Yeah, now, like I'm saying, you know the area better than me. Yeah. Like if I was alone, bruh, I would have went in a car and I would have been fucked, bruh. Mm. Bruh, I would drive straight to the drug dealer's house because I know there's yellow ones blowing outside there, bruh. Yellow ones. Yeah, but just now, you just park off there, these ones say, hey, you know, lost us all. They're in a merchant if situation, they bro. They, if they know you, they always oh. look at it, you know, fuck the territory. You know how it is. Yeah. There, it was wild, though. But was it the first time you experienced First time, yeah. Uh, first time. But I feel like recently they've been hijacking and robbing gang. Because probably like today, I probably heard a helicopter gang times flying in circles today, bro. Not even today, like the past three, four days. Mm. In those helicopters that are like, checking. Yeah. But the thing is, like, every night when I go home late, like, I always watch. Like, I'm hell of a sus. Yeah. Like, if I go home and I even see someone walking down the road, I won't pull in. Like, every yeah. night I go home, I make you know sure there's I no cars, there's no people walking, nothing. You know what they say you must do? 
They say if you're going home at night and you're alone, obviously this doesn't apply to a female. If you find a home late at night and you're alone, you must look like a suspect. So then a suspect's don't... <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 what did the suspects? They check in, who's this brand? They start... Yeah. And they, I don't, I don't you fuck it up for yourself. I don't think suspects <laughs> will fuck with suspects. Because they need to be like in confidence to their mission. Mm, I don't know. I just make sure that there's no one. Like the street's empty. Yeah, empty. yeah. But the thing is, we all area doesn't have the boom gate thing. But the, the, the boom gate does yeah, fuck. But you know, I feel like it's a disadvantage, bro. Because I always you think have to myself. Gate. Yeah, because I always think to myself, right? Let's say you're plumbing for a operator, open the gate, and he's taking his own grandfather's time, man. Then no ones, they just pull up out of nowhere behind mm. him. Then you in shirt, though it's opening the gate, is in shirt, yeah. even though the neighborhood is in shirt after that. Yeah. They even kidnap our take a lot driver out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, That you can't shoot the old that's trying to shoot you, otherwise you fight to jail, bro. You know what's the most fucked up law? Is you can't shoot him, you just can't kill him. The most fucked up law is if someone breaks in your house <laughs> and their back is facing you and you shoot them, mm. you get in trouble. Like what? Like that doesn't even make sense. If that had to happen to you and you have to shoot someone in the back, right? You kill them, obviously. Would you let, like, would you tell... We have a comes to like help you lay in house and stuff. Yeah, connections. No, I mean, I mean like, say the police come now. Yeah, connections. I know people that know people. I still say, oh. I still say you shoot out your dead, you don't tell no one, you get rid of the yourself. Yeah, but the thing is your neighbors would hear gunshots. What are you talking about? <laughs> Kidnapping. <laughs> Kidnapping. Oh yeah. Do you have weapons? Like knives and throwing knives and... I have a knife I, can, I put on my side of my door. You saw that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like in your house, you have a fucking sword. I need to get a chop one actually. You know? Yeah. I always want to get one. But I want to get a proper katana, bro. Tanjiro fucking. Yeah, yeah red sword is good. Sword is good. Sword is good. Sword is good. I need to chop on it actually. It's a jihad sword. Bro. For real. That is, ne? I, I think it is. No, it is, because it, it is, yeah. You see the end of even, and even the way it's made, you can see how it's made. It's yeah. an ancient sword. Because when my, my grandfather got it when he went to Afghanistan, when he was traveling. Mm. And there's literally a picture of him with an AK and a horse. <gasps> and I think that's, what, that's when yeah. he, had, he got the, the sword. They gave it to him as a gift. So that's wild, yeah. bro. It, it, it like actually is a proper sword. I always want to get me like a katana and shit, bro. I always wanted one. Because I, I got like knives, like throwing knives and butterfly knives, like the small knives, you know. Mm. But like the proper katana where you say, shh, 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 I, I don't know, know. I, I, still one, bro. I still smell baseball bats, bro. Yeah, but now say you come against so, oh, with the sword like a oh, maniki, yeah. you going a baseball with it, cut your head off. I got the steel, oh my hand. How are you yeah. going to hold a baseball bat? I'm, 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 not, I'm not such a weak fighter that always going to slap my hand, bro. You're holding a baseball bat, you're both throwing at the same time. That's so always sort of slash your wrist. You at the same time. What do you mean you can't throw at the same time? Yeah, you have to time it out. It doesn't work in a street fight, my man. He can wait for you to throw and slash your wrist. Bro, even in a street fight, you must know how to time it, bro. Yeah, but what if their timing is better than your timing? You have to train now. <laughs> but you're not going to take a sword to a street fight. It's probably going to be like a house robbery. So the lights yeah, are yeah, off yeah, yeah, in yeah. the game. Majority yeah. of street fights is always a bat, bro. It's either a bat or a gun. Gun is okay. But, yeah, but actually, like when you ask me about the weapons, I just realized I can legally get a gun now. Because I'm about 21. I should go get one. Yeah, you can. But do you feel the need to have one? Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> Yo, that was about way too fast. Dude, like since I was 18, I'm like, when I yeah. turn 21, I'm gonna get a gun. 100%. Yeah, 
Someone even told me I look like the type of person that would carry. I don't know. You really don't. You don't look like the one you first know, rough. You first, you first you're gonna have to get your competency. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, but the thing is, you can only get it when you're about 21. Because you have to go for training and things. Yeah. So I should actually get one. How much is a gun? Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Take a look. Probably some special. <laughs> Come back. I'm not taking a look. Hey, bro. But you know, you could actually get a gas gun. And like, I think by the sound of it. Yeah, gas guns. Do I get scared? Yeah. Anything, they think can go in your skin, bro. Yeah, I know. It can get stuck. It's dangerous. Yeah, yeah I think. It's not a joke. You get out with it. But I still feel like the illegal weapons are not. Like the illegal guns are not. The only thing is this. Too much inconvenience. Yeah, because like, now, if you shoot someone with it, then you must get rid of the gun, then the mm. bullet might be an issue. Plus, Prada 3, you know how it is, the thing. Prada, you find out the brain of that bullet, where that bullet came from, they go to that out there, they find out who was his customers in the yeah. last month or last week. Prada, it trace you down. Bro. And I could be mistaken, but I think when you shoot around, when that bullet exits the chamber, it leaves like a... A code on there or like some or marking or yeah, something. Yeah, so, some bullets have uh, electrodes like these ones that when investigating like murders and all those bullshit, yeah. then they like find out, that's how they find out like yeah. where a bullet, who manufactured a bullet and all of that. Imagine you, I don't know exactly imagine you shoot know. someone and the bullets in there manage to go dig it out now. Yo, <laughs> like bro. Like a tweezer. Yeah. yeah. But do you know, if I always still alive and get shot, If you know how to tweet at the tweezer, you have to tweet immediately to pull a bullet out. But they say actually when you get shot, you mustn't pull out the bullet. Because you lose more yeah, blood. If you know the bullet, never hit the, the one of the main... Yeah, but the thing is, how would you know? Yeah, you have to be... Because like, there's so many you arteries... You have to be a medical expert to know. Yeah. So you say you it's just like you're trying to take it out and you cut one of the veins also. That's, yeah, also another thing. But they say there's one here in your thighs. Well, I think one of there's a, the yeah, there's, and there's big ones also. Right. You lose a lot of blood. You shoot him in the right place in the thigh. Yeah. And also, like, I think if you leave it too long, then you can get, like, metal poisoning yeah, or something. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> you can't. Because I know uh, Shino's uncle, he's the one to pull it inside him. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah. They left it inside him? Because they said if they take it out, you'll die. Yeah, because it's a bigger something. problem or something. I thought you could get, like, poisoning. I didn't know that, huh? Yeah. All I know is that a bullet is still inside. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so that means whenever this man passes those detectors, it always beeps them, bro. And it's like, sorry, I got a bullet stuck yeah, in yeah. me. <laughs> Yo, yeah! And they detect metal, those things. Those metal scanners when you Me say, me say, don't believe me, say, I'm changing everything. Yeah. No, but, 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 some, still but still some of these places where they, you have to walk through, They have a screen where you can see where the detection is coming from. But like, when you go like close like up... I know there was this one chick, I saw a video. She walked through the thing and then on the screen it was showing she had a, she had a, a steel thing up a... <laughs> I don't know. Did she get messed with cake? Did I get messed with cake? Yeah, this podcast is all random topics we're talking about. But it's fun though. Yeah, so Ultra was this weekend, people didn't know, well, most people didn't know, and uh, <laughs> one of the members here have experienced the Ultra. One of the men them. One of the men them. So tell us how was the experience. You know, I've never ever been to any music festival. You know, I think for the next, maybe four or five years, it's going to be in Ramadan. In Ramadan, I think yeah. two years, next two years. No, but I'm saying like four, because, because they don't move the ultra date, it's always similar date. Yeah. So, in Ramadan, I always moves 10 days. So, I, I think for the next three, like four or five years. No, not 10 days. Yeah. No, it's not 10 days. It's like, I think, two yeah. weeks, every, like two weeks. It <laughs> no, it doesn't. Two weeks is 14 days. Yeah, because <laughs> so, so the, the Islamic calendar is shorter than... Uh, yeah, not by two weeks. But whatever the days are. 
Yeah, who cares? Probably, probably not going to be able to go for the next four or five years. But Tamash and Abed, they'll still be Muslim. Oh yeah, 100%. percent they will still go for it. 100%. He, uh, by then, I'll but probably like... be married, bruh. Maybe even with one child. <laughs> 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 it's a long time from now, five years. Me also, fuck, who knows? I don't think I would be anywhere in your you, Where do you think you'll be in five years, though, well? Dubai, 100%. It's too hard for me to predict where I'll be, bro. Because you must know the next two years is full of unpredictable yeah. events, bro. But like, a goal shit. is to be like in Dubai, mm. is, but like living in Dubai. Five years is long, bro. Mm. Fuck. You know how many times your life can change in that five years? Yeah. Five but years I think of it, man. I was watching Joe Weller the other day, right? So he, he means his brow, you know that brow of his, that's always a thing. On his YouTube channel, man. I don't watch Joe Weller, he's gay. <laughs> so anyway, they were reacting to old videos of himself. And then he said something, that it was quite interesting. They said, bro, do you know that people change and you change more, more faster than you even think? Because if you look at something you did, like for example, let's say a picture or a video that you made one year ago, just one year ago, yeah. it's like 50% off from what you are now. Yeah. It's like no one realizes how fast people change, how things change. Yeah. Like, I could watch this video in the next five years and be like, I was so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've, I've done it before. I watched like most of the old videos. Like some of the stuff we used to say and the way we used to act was like so weird, bro. Yeah. Bro, the first video I made on this channel. What was the first video you made, bro? It was cringe. What was the first video? I don't know what we were talking about. But the outside. Oh, oh, we used to do a podcast. The outside because of the lighting and all of that, yeah. <laughs> Yo, that is, that is like maybe three years ago when we did a video with you. Yeah. The last we did podcast, what, maybe three years ago for real, bro. And we used to do it at Rose Park. Mm-hmm. It is our own, our own place. We, uh, we did I all our videos there. Khalil was in those ones, isn't it? They'd always been in all the videos, so. I mean, like, he hasn't been in... But when you saw that he wasn't? Because you weren't brass, I think, that time. We were brass, but we weren't, like... Like, close. Yeah, we weren't yeah. close. Like, we knew each other through ball, and mm. whenever he was, like, tournaments, they didn't, like, speak and stuff like that. But then How did you meet Lilo? Oh, <laughs> yeah, it was actually weird, bro. The one night we were playing Fortnite, I think it was. Oh, there. <laughs> what? Bro, late at night we were hitting a playground that was there. Then at that time I was already posting like videos, man. Like yeah. of us, like what me, Shayna, and I can't remember. I think it was only me and Shayna at that time, man. And then one night when we were playing, he raised me. Hey, I watched that one video of yours. It was funny, man. Then the, I don't know for some reason, they used to always give me like content creator vibes. Like, I don't know if it's just me who can tell, like, who's <laughs> suited for content. Like, I'm sure, like, the more you make content, like, if you're doing now, if you come across someone, you'll be able to tell, like, hey, that's all be cool on camera. Mm. And for some reason, I just had it feeling where so I was like, hey, fuck, I need to get us all on, like, camera and shit. You know what, I raised this money, bro. Come oh, join man. us for a video. Yeah. Then he said, you know what, I'll pitch up. I still, I thought, nah, that's always talking shit, he won't chase. Anyways, he came. He was in the video, maybe, but you know for that old, maybe first year, if you watch like all the videos where Khalid was in, you could see this man was camera shy as <laughs> fuck, bro. But even, but he was unpredictable even. You don't know what he's gonna say, what he's thinking about. Yeah, but you can see how much he's in, improved, like with being in front of a camera. Yeah, you get used to it. Yeah. But everyone is like that, bro. Do you know the very first video we made? Like, <laughs> Yo, bro, let me tell you, that's the very first proper YouTube video we made, right? So I'm not talking about the soccer videos and the gaming videos, like the proper video like this. So we did uh, Try Not To Laugh. It was myself, it was Shainal and Shainal's cousin Yassi. The right? water one, we put water in your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, if I must tell you how many times I was even getting irritated because I kept fucking the intro up. Mm. So you know our our intro is... Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel, like that, man. <laughs> Let me tell you how this all started, bro. So I wrote down what I'm going to say, yeah. So when we played the video, we said we're meeting this time. After morning, 
I memorized word for word what was written down so I don't fuck up the intro. The camera comes on me, I fuck it up. Second time I fuck it up, third time, fourth time, I'm fucking this intro up one minute. Shane will base me, just fire away one more time. <laughs> well, that's how bad I was, because I was getting so nervous yeah. and I was shy, because I never ever spoke to a camera. Mm. Bro, yeah, the last time, I memorized everything so and I said, this is the one, I'm going to make sure I get it right. Hey, I started the thing, so like, as I was saying it, I knew what to say next. Ne? So when I came to the party, hey guys, welcome. The original intro was, hey guys, welcome back to our channel, so, 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 and so, yeah. yeah. I came to the word channel, my mind went blank, I was fucked, so I just ended up dragging the word channel to give me time <laughs> to think what the fuck to say next. And then from there, that's how we got it, the whole intro as a YouTube channel, and it stuck with us ever since, bro. It's a little weird, story. but hey, I was I just, I fucked first, up too much, The bro. first video, I, bro, I was one of the first those aliens to make a video on YouTube, bro. I go, my the first video I made who was it? it was one of the prime ministers someone that came to the hospital and I caught him in a VIP parking so what <laughs> you were was vlogging it you were making a vlog <laughs> <laughs> hey guys oh, prime minister in the parking <laughs> plus you know it was the quality that I was busy using fucking 720 pixels yeah that, that was bad it must have been a long time ago but I feel like I should have started content back when I was in my school days bro because I started posting videos of my freestyle and that from grade 10, I think, from grade 9. And then from grade 9 to like 12, I used to just post for my freestyle and that. But I actually thought about it, like, if I had to actually start making proper content since back then and being consistent all the years, yeah, we would have been far by now. Yeah, even me, bro, like, the only, re- the only reason, firstly, the only reason why I made it, first YouTube videos was just like for fun yeah and even a YouTube page or whatever I ended up losing but if I, if I knew that time YouTube page I would have yes now the channel would have grown is it when you're doing a freestyle thing that Sean freestyle followed you or liked one of your videos or something yeah that was you did you make a video even la- last year so the world champion of st- uh, of Pana the world Pana champion so his name on Instagram is Street Pana. His name is Jack, Jack Town or something like that. Name. So when I got into like a whole um, street like Pana and all that, I used to post all those, those videos. Bro, I don't know one day. I, whenever I used to post like one of his videos, then I used to find it like fucking insane. I would always like put it on my IG story or something. Bro, this man he liked my IG story. I got the shock. I was like, what the fuck, bro? I DM him. I said, no way, you like my IG story, yeah. There's no reply to me with laughing faces. I was like, what the fuck, bro? Yeah, I still, then I said, bro, go see my freestyle videos. <laughs> I just hit the lock and I said, go watch it. Voila, go see some of my videos. The old comments like, I even oh, did. He, he likes some videos, he even commented. Bro, I put these comments on my Instagram story. He liked the Instagram story. Well, I, that day, man, I was like the happiest man on this planet, bro. Because it's like one of the ones that you constantly watch. Yeah. And they notice you. Like, yeah. What the fuck, bro? That's insane. Yeah, it's the same like when I was posting the DJ videos, bro. The one day I just checked. James hype, James hype, James hype. Oh, for real? Was, <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah, the TikTok account, man. Yeah. That's cool. But it's a little bit of different feeling when, like, one of, like, oh, did you watch a lot? Just like you. It's like like so weird. But it's. That's how you know that you face, like, you know, when the well known no one's on the See you know. and things. Yeah. It probably feels like surreal in a way. It does. Like, well, it does, bro. But you know, like, even gang people say that, like, the ones that made it to the, lap, like, the big leagues, they say that, like, when you were younger, it feels like it's just a dream, like, to speak to the role models and whatever. And then when they eventually made it, they look literally bras with their role models. It's yeah, like, it's crazy. It's, it's so crazy. Yeah, why is it spelling B? Why? Like, why does the B stand for it? You know how they spell the B also? B E. Yeah. Yeah, like... I don't know, maybe it's, it, must, it, it must mean it must something. must have, yeah. Maybe it's an abbreviation or something. I got into a fight at Ultra. Huh? I got into a fight at Ultra. Don't fuck it up. Because so. Uh, you beat the O up. Wait, first let me ask you this. Was it the Indian O or Kaladu? Indian. 
What is the reason? I'm not even surprised, bro. So, I was standing in front. And, you know, standing. <laughs> I mean, just hit us with a shocker. <laughs> we tried it ultra topic a whole hour ago. You've been your only team for so long. No, I forgot about it. it. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. I think you say this. Huh? Yeah, kill him with your story. Yeah, so, I was holding the railing. Yeah. Because I was in front. And there was no space. Because, like, I even wasn't standing because there were, like, yeah. two people. Like, a small gap. So, like, I, I'm not going to push myself. And, like, I'm in front. I don't need to fucking go, like, one more step in front of me. Yeah. So, anyways, I just felt someone, like, push me like this and, like, go past me. So, I look back and I'm like, the fuck? And I see it was this, like, Indian O, but he was sloshed out of his mind. Yeah. And, but he was, like, a... I, he was Indian, but, like, more like a, like a Moroccan-looking O. Like, I don't know how to yeah, explain yeah. it. Like a fair O. But I, maybe it could have been Indian. I don't know. But anyways, he was sloshed. And then he pushed himself in the gap. So I'm like, I try to avoid, avoid problems. So yeah. I left it. But as I was drunk. And when he pushed himself in, I think he like really pushed like even people behind him and things. Like, yeah. like no one smacked him in that area. Like where I was. Yeah. And then there was this white chick behind me also. And like he was pulling fingers at her, blowing kisses. And like you could see he was fucking hammered. Yeah. And then she was like, no, you, blah, blah, blah. And then I, I think he was with his brother or with his friend or I don't know what was going on. When they just came in, I kind of like, like pushed a bit also. His friend or brother, whatever, let's just say brother. He was like, he, he taps me on the shoulder and he's like, sorry, bro, he's drunk. Hmm. And I'm like, yeah, but there's no space here. And he's like, yeah, I know, but I'm sorry. So... I was like, okay, whatever, like, just leave it. Yeah, yeah. So I had my hand on the railing, yeah. Now, that's I was busy doing his shit, whatever. So the DJ was here on this, and so I was looking towards here. So yeah. I never see this guy. So while I had my hand on the railing, I felt like a nudge on my arm. So now I'm like, okay, maybe he jumped, bumped yeah. into me, whatever. So then I feel another nudge, but it was a bit harder. Yeah. So I was like, okay, this is probably going to end up in a fight. By the, time, by the time I felt the second one, I'm like, okay, this is going to end up in a yeah. fight. So, after the second nudge, I looked at him, and then he looked at me, but like, the look he had on his face was like a, like a frown. Mm. So then he nudged me again, so then I held my hand there, and he's like, move your hand, so I said, no. Mm. And then he nudged it again, and he said, move your fucking hand, so I said, no, what you gonna do? And then, my friend was next to me, and after I asked him what you gonna do, I didn't know this, but my friend told me this after, mm. that he said, I'm going to fuck you up. But I never hear that. Yeah. Yeah. So just after I said, what you're going to do, my friend pushed him and he said, hey. Mm. And then after that, uh, his brother basically told me, listen, he's drunk. Sorry, please just stop it. Mm. So I'm like, if he's drunk, control him, bro. Mm. And then by this time, so now it's two brews, the, the, old, yeah. the guys I was with. And then the other bro also jumped in. So I was speaking to the brother, and I didn't know this, but after this, they obviously told me, but that drunk old told the, my bra, I'm going to kill you. Mm. So after he oh, said yeah, that, yeah. that bra went for a hook, and then the guard was right in front, so he, st- he tried holding him as well. And then I also had my hand on the railing, mm. and I was like, there's no point fighting. So like, I, I tried to keep him back as well. Yeah. But then in my head, I was like, fuck, my back is facing his own. I don't want to get hit in behind the head or something. Yeah. So I let go. Then the other one went for another hook, like my bra. Yeah. And then, then the other bro went for a hook. And <laughs> yes. he, he felt it connect. And after that, he had like a, he had like a, like a cut you on his knuckles, on both his knuckles. Yeah. And he said he felt the hook. But the thing is, I never follow them. Because yeah. after, after they went for the hook, that old brother pulled him back into more of the crowd. Yeah. And then they followed him to fuck him up more. And then I, I get on stage in front because like it was a bunch of like, like crowded and things. Yeah. And then I didn't want to go all the way in the back because maybe they just pulled these two O separate, like my bras and this yeah, drunk yeah, yeah. O. And then I'm separated with my bras. So I said, let me just stay here in front so I can still like be with them and see where they are and things. So anyways, like, they ended up going up, they ended up going, like, deep into the crowd. So everyone was asking me, like, are your friends okay and things? Now, these, these bros can fight. Yeah. Like, they're fucking solid. 
So I said, yeah, I don't worry, they're probably okay. But I kept on looking in the back to like check if anything's going on and stuff. And then what happened is after this, they told me the one, there was a vid O that tried to stop the one, my, my one bra, yeah. and my bra gave me a headlock. And it was stepping like, bro, I'm just trying to stop it. And he's like, leave me or I'm going to fucking choke you out. Yeah. So he's like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And then my bra left him. And then that, oh, I think they just pulled him away and things like that. Yeah. And maybe like after 15 seconds, I looked behind and they were back partying. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, let's, I was like, are you okay? Yeah. And they were like, yeah, we could. So then I was like, yo, okay. Oh, so you told him you actually like threw But after that, I was like, fuck, man, why are you all jammed? I was going <laughs> to fucking kick the shit out of you. Yeah. But the thing is, my one bra got upset but, because... But how far were you from the security guard? No, so I was, the rating was here, like here. And the, the guard was right in front. But it's like one guard, one guard, one guard, like maybe like 10 steps. Yeah, you, you see the other thing is also you don't want to get kicked out for shit. Yeah, but they can't kick you out, they're not going to kick you out. I was, like in my head, when this oh, when this oh hit my, yeah, when he nudged my arm. No, no, the thing is, in my head, I was, I was already playing out combos. I'm yeah. like, okay, so I think the best thing, like while I'm talking to him, the best thing is going to be an elbow, left to fucking straight <laughs> to the face. I was going to kick the fuck out of this oh. But the thing is, I didn't hear him say, I'm going to fuck you up. Yeah. Because as soon as I, as soon as I would have heard that, I was going to throw first. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> out of thrown Yo. elbow left hook straight and he's been listening be so together to this like imagine bro. fuck man and then after that I was like fuck I wish I had a piece of the pie <laughs> I was so upset bro and then yeah but it was fun it's like you need the ones rolling it after up bro but, but like uh, I always hear this bro but this is the thing, like, if you're, oh, it's like gay to get drunk out of your mind. Like, if you're a guy, you must know yeah, the limit. You know what? I like, getting drunk out of your mind is for chicks. Like, chicks yeah. can get fucking you know what? You know what? Not O's, man. You know what? I don't understand it. Eh? Till today, I can't understand how Owens lose their consciousness when they get drunk. Like, bright. to me, it makes no sense. Like, how you just lose complete focus on reality, bro. It makes no... Because I've seen Owens near it, bruh. They drink like they gonna kill themselves near. But they can still be normal, bruh. Yeah. Like, I don't understand these Owens that lose their shit. It makes no sense. And I, I think... I could be mistaken. But I think my friend told me that he tried to throw a hook at me. Mm. Like, while my back was facing and I was holding the railing. And he caught his, his arm. I think he tried. I think so. But, yeah... Your one opportunity, go oh. on, you know I mean? I was on. like, I, I think I asked him, like, why you jump so quick? Yeah. And he said, because I heard him say he's going to fuck you up. So I was like, bro. <laughs> but the thing is, maybe it's, maybe it's like a good thing, because I would have probably, like, fuck him up yeah. properly, bro. Because the thing is... No gloves, bro. Yeah, because the thing is, my one bra, when he threw the hook, there was like someone already trying to hold him and the guard put yeah. his hand. So like, he landed a book, but it wasn't like a solid one. Yeah. This was right in front of me, bro. If I'm throwing an elbow on your face, and then with a the left hook, with, with proper technique, because you're right here in front yeah. of me, and a jab to the face, yo! <laughs> I could have knocked him out. One chance, bro. Eish. We don't have to wait for next out. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man. But yeah, that was my fight at all, bro. Yeah, we want, oh wait, no, I can't say, I'm going to ask for a cherry, you are wrong, you see. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll cut this out. Yeah. But the thing is... This is my knife in China, you know? <laughs> 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 Yo, bro. Yeah. 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 That's insane. Yeah. Okay, man. Oh, I found an opportunity, you know, with yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you know what was funny? After that, because uh, we went, they told us, like, let's go out, let's go drink water, yeah. go toilet and things. So I was like, okay, sharp. And I was like... The, the, the pro support was there. The support yeah. was there, I mean. For real. Right, moving on to the final topic for today, which is spelling bee. So, this is how it's going to work. We're each going to give two words for us to spell. And uh, we'll see whose spelling is terrible, who managed to finish school. One of those book to write on, one of those book to write on. To press on, to press on, no? And my book to press on. So, Basically, that's how it works. We can move this way, so like, you, you, me, 
you, you, me, like that. So I must give. So you give. So we, a word the first. person gives the word, and we must write it down. We must spell it. Yeah. Yeah, spell it. But like must big, spell. small, big enough for the camera to see. Like how big is it? Like sideways. Yeah, yeah. Do it sideways. Um. So I must go first. Yeah. I must give a word first. Yeah. So you give a word. I'm not spelling my word first. What you mean? Like I don't need to spell the word I give. But how do you even know yeah. if? Do we have to spell the words? We yeah, spell. because maybe you don't even know how you spell your own words. <laughs> and then what happens if all three of us don't know the spelling of a word? You have Google. Oh, yeah. You have to check oh. Okay, so give your word first then. Yeah. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia? <laughs> yes. Mm. Okay, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it look like tomato? One new metal. They say you must spell it out slowly. You'll figure it out. One new metal. P E U. One new metal. P. I'm just making my words a bit darker so it's seeable. <laughs> it sounds right, but it doesn't look right. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know if I felt it right, bro. And then when we're done, right, we must, we must, we must all show, right? One, two, three. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you made a mistake. Well, I forgot the O, I think. <laughs> You're supposed to put a thing on your top. No, I used to do it in my essays in school. At the bottom, and then you put it's the thing. It's on top, not at the bottom. Yeah, my English. Wait, what do you mean on the bottom? On top? Yeah, when you mess up the word. Yeah, yeah, you put it at the bottom and you write it on top. Yeah. Oh, but I'm old school in life. I put it on top. I'm old school in life, I done this. So, if you all spell it the same? No. I don't know, yeah, check it on your phone. <laughs> You no, all spelled it different. Yeah. No, we still spelled it the same. Oh yeah, I, I know, spelled it. Ma- tomatopia. You you must the O. Wait. I got the O. <laughs> no, he is saying onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Pio. Bro, I think I spelled it right. No, it wasn't all right. Pio. P. Onomatopoeia. You are. I spelled it wrong. I don't know. I never look at it. Okay, tell us what's the real spelling. Me and him spelled it right. You mm-hmm. spelled it wrong. I spelled it wrong. Yeah. O N O Tomato P O E I A P O E. Where are you getting tomato? <laughs> no, I'm just saying tomato. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you're supposed to put the O before the E. Yeah, so it oh. is. Oh. That's the only thing you messed up. Fucking hell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yo, it was close, bro. I forgot the word. Alright, Ari, you give us your word. My word is... Penzo die is a pin. Huh? What? Penzo die is a pin. Penzo die is a... Oh. <laughs> I don't know how to fuck you say the word, what? Penzo? Penzo die is a pin. <laughs> <laughs> What's your, what does it mean? <laughs> it's a chemical. Benzo diagami. <laughs> diagami. What is it? Diazepine. Diazepine? Yeah. yeah. Is it? Benzo. Benzo what? Diagas? Diagas? Benzo diazepine. Diazepine. Yeah. Benzo di... The bean is fucking me up. Ezo... It's either E, A or just E. Think it's the last thing. 
U Benzo dai is a bean. The is it is a bean? Dai benzo dai is a bean. You sure you saying it right? Yeah. No, it's not benzo dai is a bean. No. You sure you're not trying to name the player benzo. Benzema? Yeah, I was also thinking think, Benzema. I think anything with the O is a guess. And I think it's either E and E at the end or I and E. Fuck. Benzo diazepine. No. It's anything. Yeah, I got a word. Fuck, I forgot the chemistry, bro. Yeah, okay, I'm done. Do we all have a word? Right, one. <laughs> two, two. What the fuck? It's either E and E or I and E. Benzo diazepine. <laughs> But you can't put two spellings. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll count this one. You have to select one. Yeah, this one, yeah. The first the, one. The, the, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? Bro. Okay, I don't blame you. Bro, I've never heard this word in my life. Penzo die as a piece, not a common word. I think. Well, I need to. Let's see who's there. Penzo die is a <laughs> Benzo da SOP. Da SOP. That word is Benzodi SOP. Benzodi. What the fuck, bro? Benzodi SOP. I swear I've never heard this word in my life, bro. Yeah, like what, what is it? Apart from spelling. It's the chemical one. Yeah, yeah but like what? It's the chemical used in manufacturing of medication. B E N Z O Z O D I A Z E Fuck I knew it was the last one I N -E. Bloody shit so It's the I N E No no wait You got it wrong No Oh no no, no. Oh, Obviously he's gonna get it right he knew the word Oh it's 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 also used for uh to treat muscle spasms Anything else oh, is the effect of cover. Benzo EP. It sounds like some chick's name, bro. My turn, eh? Yeah. Mm, let me see. My word is. Happy. Yes, no. Dinosaur. You know how to spell dinosaur? <laughs> Such an easy word. <laughs> 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 you are so good for the day. <laughs> okay, no, wait, no, wait. Let me catch it because this spelling was your way. And your spelling is wrong. <laughs> is this is certain time. <laughs> yeah, wait, no, no, no. Not okay. dinosaur, no, wait, that's a dumb word. And you still spelled it wrong, bro. No, I never. I think it's S O U S O A U R. Yeah. No, okay, my word is. No, so. S O U A R. Yeah. Yeah. S O U A. Yeah. Hey, that's dinosaur, like raw. Check when you're wrong. <laughs> I, I think. Dinosaur. S O A R. A U R. There's a U there. Oh, yeah, it is. So, fuck, I think I spelled it wrong. It looks wrong, and if something looks wrong, it's definitely wrong, my man. S A U R. Oh, I spelled it right, bro. Oh. <laughs> okay, my word is. Um, course. Oh, like, which one? Yeah, what course? Okay. Like a race course or like a education course? Okay, my word is hemoglobin. Hey, go free now, my kid is spelling. That's an easy word, I remember it in a pile. I think I can get us some right also. Oh, 
We're ready. Okay. I think we all spend it the same, man. Oh fuck. Oh wait, I think you got it wrong. And then put wait. Yeah, you got it wrong, I think. H A E, what you got? Oh H-A-E, yeah. A E <laughs> So much for Oh I remember <laughs> 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 Hemoglobin. See yeah, I'm not, I, I know my spelling bro. Yeah. Wait, why did you do on me? I don't know, bro. H A E M O G L O B I N. Fuck, I must have. Yes, uh, Why was it showing red on your autocorrect? I don't know, maybe. Are you sure everything is right? <laughs> hey, bye. You got it wrong, relax. You got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> like, you also didn't pass a word. What does that word we see in the kitchen? It's part of the word, man. Oh, I don't know. It's some block, brook, or something. Oh, shit, okay. Indefatigable. What? Indefatigable. Wait, is that even a word? Yeah, that's when you made his own yeah. word for us. Indefatigable. Indefatigable. I think that's a word. But don't search for the word because it's going to be I'm looking at something else. Use the word, come on. Oh. No, but you. Yeah, but then you can't yeah, look for a word. search for a word. No, I mean, I'm looking at the history of something. <laughs> in the fatigue of all. Yeah, in the fatigue of all. <laughs> Yeah, there's even a supplement called but, um, <coughs> Fuck, bro, I don't know what to spill the for. Oh, I think I just lost this word up. I think maybe I can get us one right. What did you say the word was? In? Indefatigable. <laughs> Imagine it's not a word, that would be jokes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be most funny, bro. Alright, so you're ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Alright, one, two, three. Indefatigable. Indefatigable. This is an E, that's an E. I and the E. <laughs> yeah, why does your word look like it's past the incorrect even? <laughs> your word looks like an email address. <laughs> Fatigable. That is too logical. That is way too logical. There needs to be like a silent letter there. I N D E F A T I G A B L E. Fuck. I spelled it right. Huh? Huh? I spelled it right. Nee, that's how cheated. How? How, bro? I think it's a supplement also which uses this word. Okay. Means moving up a suspect, but we left it slide. Give us a word there. Some hydrochloride plus oxide. <laughs> I know what the word, bro. What? Booster sauce. Ah, man, that's so easy, bro. <laughs> oh, I must see who spelled it right. Because I don't know how to spell that word. But I'm, I'm not it. Did. <laughs> oh, 
I know there's a CH. Isn't there an R somewhere? Yeah, it, there's a C H I R E. Because it's shy at the end, I know. Where do we find the spelling of this word? Go on Google and just say search it. Wustaya sh sauce. Nee. What? This all spelled it right. Oh no. Oh no, you spelled it like me. W? No. No, I mean, there's an I, R, E. They changed this word, bro. Mandela effect, man. It used to be I, R, E. So you have I, R, E. No, but it's, it's, it's like... Let's see images of the bottle, then you'll know. Yeah, I think they did change. Yeah, you see? What's, a, what's the spelling on the bottle? W, O, R... C E S T E R. This is the spelling on the bottle. W O R C E S T E R. But then Google is saying that the spelling is W O R C E S T E. So much you don't know what goes. Yeah, I give another one. Waste my time and I got it right. Maybe Americans. Could it? It yeah, they say like, woos, woos, like that. Woos, uh, give us your word. <laughs> Adenosine triphosphate. That's two words. Okay, wait. Let's think another one. I don't know if he was naming one of his brass nicknames. He eh? knows <laughs> something. Eh? Yeah. Adenosine. <laughs> don't get scared, right? <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> right, right. I think this was an easy one. Tarantula. No way, no. <laughs> no <laughs> way, you hit it wrong. No <laughs> way, you hit it wrong. wrong. Let me see which one you hit wrong. I did right. You couldn't even spell it right. Even what the what the eight one day you spelled it wrong. You gave him right. Yeah, you spelled it wrong. Huh? The P T S T H O R. Yeah, bro. There's an A. The Renchuala. He said the Renchuala. The Renchuala. Yeah. The Renchuala. Yo, my beard is thin, bro. Name and fuck man. Why is that in a word? Is was he scared? He's shivering. He said that in Chihuahua. He was eating another animal to eat. That in Chihuahua. Hey, you go wild. Do you think I left school? I got bad at spelling, bro. I think a lot of people get bad at spelling when they leave school. I used to be so base. Because no one's ever really spelling words. Because like autocorrect on your phone and stuff. Yeah. You have a word. My turn, yeah? Ooh, let me see. Schizophrenic. <laughs> you don't know how to spell it. Pick another one. Schizophrenic. <laughs> I know how to spell it. Do you know what the word is? Schizophrenic. So what's the word? Schizophrenic. Yeah. Schizophrenic. Yeah. Schizophrenic. Yeah. yeah, that's a word. Schizophrenic. Check him. He too many factors. I'm trying to think. Schizophrenic. You know, there's actually no such thing as schizo. Is it SC or SK? Surely. Right, are we all ready? One, two, three. I think I got it wrong again. Schizophrenic. I put a fucking F. 
P H P H. I don't know who's spinning this wheel to check. Ski. How you don't even T there, man? Skit zo. Was it skizo? Yeah. Skizo for any but skizo. Yeah, it's S C H. No, that means we all got it wrong. Because it says schizophrenia. Okay, let's put the phone. Check it out. But it's still showing. Yeah, it's the sickness is schizophrenia. The patient is schizophrenic. Damn it. Well, S C H I Z O B H R E N. I see. I think I have won this. Okay, anyways, guys, it was it for today's <laughs> This is actually fun, though. Okay. Podcast. This is feeling <laughs> really I realize how shit I am. It's really, bro. Next time, we must do it. Mets and shit, bro. You always fucked up. But, okay. anyways, if you guys did enjoy today's video, please. You win. Like, yeah. subscribe. Yeah. Don't say, oh, these are all the subjects. Yeah. Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Um, we're gonna try and post as much as we can in Ramadan to keep you all occupied, you know, get a few minutes before iftar. Um, but anyways, what you mean, bro? Radio Islam in a parrot's gonna be vibing. You know, you know the parrot thing? The what? The parrot. Radio is, do you listen to Radio Islam before iftar? Uh-uh. You've never listened to Radio Islam? Before iftar? No. Yeah. Why what's a parrot? Bro, they play this annoying ass. Wait, it's either before iftar or before Siri. They play this. Spirit, uh, noise, your bro, it's annoying. Like someone, it's a whole fucking story where. Oh, the, yeah. So I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking Yo, about. Yo, it's so annoying. It's uh, just annoying. So instead of watching the parrot, you can watch one of our videos. So, yeah. Or well, less listening to the parrot. Until next time, <laughs> it's your boy, Bilu Papa. It's your boy, Yahya MMA. <laughs> and it's Arif. Let's get off this. Until next time. Until next time, please. What is even schizophrenia? You know what it is?